Hey there, gun enthusiasts. Stay with us for an exclusive up close and personal sneak peek at the hottest, most innovative guns and gear hitting the scene in 2024. Stay tuned. It's going to be a blast. A simple new platform will be headed to shelves this summer from North Carolina's veteran-owned Dark Mountain Arms. The stowaway system is a single-shot, bolt-action takedown firearm initially being offered in 5.7 NATO, but as its multi-caliber via an easy swap of a bolt face and barrel, future options on the table include 9mm, 46 by 30 22 LR, 22 WMR, and 17 Mach 2, and 17 HMR. A packable design with a weight of 2.8 pounds for the 16-inch barreled rifle and 2 pounds flat for the 5-inch barreled pistol, the guns can be stowed in two primary pieces and then easily reassembled. All versions have a factory threaded barrel and a top Picatinny rail, making them both suppressor and optics ready right out of the box. When Smith & Wesson introduced the Bodyguard 380 in 2010, it caught the attention of many people who were looking for a small, easy-to-carry defensive pistol. Now Smith & Wesson is introducing the next generation of micro-sized handguns, the Bodyguard 2.0. How does it compare to the original model? The Bodyguard 2.0 boasts a new profile, has a higher capacity, and includes modern enhancements designed for concealed carry. Chambered in 380 auto, the pistol ships with a flush-fit 10-round magazine and an extended 12-round magazine, giving the user substantially more capacity. And models will be available with or without a thumb safety. The Bodyguard 2.0 has an overall height of 4 inches, a width just under 1 inch, and weighs in at 9.8 ounces unloaded. It also includes a striker-fired design and new flat face trigger for better consistency for more accurate shots. Out of the box, the pistol ships with a black U-notch rear sight and a bright tritium insert front sight, allowing the user to rapidly acquire and stay on target. Stylized after Marlin's original Trapper series rifle, this model features the Magpul Industries ELG stock and forend. Constructed of reinforced polymer, the ELG furniture is durable and impervious to even the worst weather. Designed to blend form and function, the stock and forend are M-lock and QD attachment capable, the interior of the stock features an integrated storage compartment that holds six additional rounds, should you need them. Also included is a cheek riser kit for better sight alignment when using an optic. Chambered in 4570 government, this rifle features a 16.17-inch cold-hammered forged barrel with a 1-20-inch to -inch twist in its six-groove rifling. Its muzzle is threaded and comes with a match-polished thread protector. The rifle holds five rounds in its tubular magazine. An upgraded Skinner sight siding system boasts a 6.25-inch Picatinny-style rail with an adjustable rear peep sight and a bear buster front sight. Machined to exacting standards, this durable no-snag system offers users the option of either open sights or a rail-mounted optic. The MSRP on the new Ruger Marlin Trapper Series Model 1895 with ELG furniture is $1,649, which is about $150 more than the ask on the standard stainless trapper. This mini revolver is a long-awaited and highly requested model from North American Arms that borrows the tactical look of the Pug revolver and the ease of reload of the NAA Sidewinder models. The NAA Sentinel comes chambered in 22 Magnum with the option for shooters to equip a 22 LR conversion cylinder to suit their preferences. The Sentinel specs highlight its robust stainless steel construction paired with a five-shot capacity signaling durability and reliability. Customers can choose between dot style or tritium front sights tailoring their revolver to personal preferences or specific use cases. The black pebbled grip ensures a secure hold, an essential feature for a firearm designed for concealed carry. From Smith & Wesson's Performance Center, the 8-shot 9mm Model 327WR is the design that allowed Jerry Misalik to set a world record, hitting six steel plates from the draw at 7 yards in just 1.88 seconds. Going well past the standard end frame Model 327, the 327WR has a Performance Center fitment for a smooth double-action trigger, a titanium cylinder with an 8-round capacity, a 5-inch ported stainless steel barrel, and a smooth double-action trigger. Other features include a brass bead front and adjustable rear sight package, an optic plate system, and JM signature laminated wood grips. In addition, it also comes with the core optic plate system for revolvers that allow you to mount a wide range of red dot optics available on the market. 
And yes, it ships with the Vortex Comp.AMOA red dot built around a very large sight window that delivers greater peripheral vision and increases speed for follow-up shots. Only 1,880 units will be made. Of all the innovative firearms PSA released this year, one was a real showstopper, the PSA X5.7. This pistol closely resembles the H&K MP7 that's never been commercially available in the United States. Designed by several of the young, talented engineers at Palmetto State, the X5.7 is a personal defense weapon chambered in a 5.7 by 28 millimeter. The idea of a PDW is to have a powerful yet compact weapon that can bridge the gap between handgun and carbine. Since the 4.6 by 30 millimeter cartridge is not popular or readily available in the United States, Palmetto State decided to offer this firearm in the 5.7 bottleneck PDW cartridge that's become commonplace in the U.S. market. The X5.7 is based on the PSA rock pistol, just scaled to fit the PDW roll. Each pistol will ship with a 40-round magazine, and the platform features a Radian Raptor charging handle, M-Bus flip-up sights, and a removable tri-rail in the front. The X5.7 is still in the concept phase, with research and development continuing to ensure the platform's quality and reliability. PSA held a vote for customers to choose which gun they wanted the company to focus on next. Since the X5.7 won, the current timeline has its launch about a year out. PSA plans to price the guns under $1,000. The Browning X-Bolt has held its place as an excellent production action for many years now, and for a long while we've only seen line extensions of the X-Bolt platform. The X-Bolt 2 comes with some key updates to the receiver, which allow even smoother, more reliable cycling. The bolt handle has also been redesigned for better ergonomics and easier operation. Finally, the new X-Bolt 2 models have adjustable DLX triggers. There are a number of models in this updated action. From a new Mountain Pro to Target models that feature an external magwell for added capacity, something the X-Bolt lacked until last year. All models have a Cerakote finish and similar ergonomics and feature sets that you'll find on the X-Bolt you already love. Beretta's building on the buzz behind the A300 Ultimate Patrol released last year and a generation of experience and user feedback on the 1301 Tactical to give the people what they want. The improved Beretta 1301 Tactical Mod 2 has lots of subtle upgrades, such as a new forend that borrows from the A300 Patrol by using a forend with an enhanced grip and adding an M-Lock accessory slot compatibility. It also has a semi-flat tactical trigger, an upgraded stock that includes better texture and QD cups, and an extended bolt handle and release along with the new 1301 Pro Lifter that eases reloading. Further, the mag tube is now a two-piece job for easy extension and includes its own M-Lock slot and QD swivel cup. You still get the standard seven-round mag tube, a seven-slot pick rail on top of optics, an 18.5-inch chrome-lined barrel with a flush OCHP choke, ghost ring rear sight, and removable blade front. But for something really cool, Beretta has a limited run of 1301 TAC Mod.2s complete with a folding stock crafted from 6061 solid billet aluminum by Chisel Machining. All that starts at $1,799 with choices of black, FDE, OD green, or gray. What's better than a judge? A judge with a dot on it. The judge is without a doubt the most popular 410 revolver, and adding a red dot to it just enhances its capabilities. All variants of Taurus Toro line of Judge revolvers is chambered for 410 bore 45 long Colt. The only distinction between them is that the standard Judge Toro accepts 2.5 inch 410 shot shells, while the Judge Toro Magnum can accept 3 inch shells. As Toro models, all four variants are optics ready and can mount red dots that feature a Holosome K series or Shield RMSC footprint. The rest of the revolver's features are identical to those to their non-optics-ready counterparts. Guys, we've got a brand new Barrett sniper rifle. While still possessing all the features that has made the MRAD so capable and mission-adaptable that both the United States Army Precision Sniper Rifle Program and U.S. Special Forces Command have adopted versions as service rifles, the extreme long-range model is set apart by its enormous 36-inch long, heavy contour barrel, and its equally colossal three-port tank break. The result is amazingly accurate for a production gun, yet surprisingly controllable given just how much power it harnesses. 
Available in only 416 Barrett, but with more chamberings coming in the future, the MRAD ELR maintains the MRAD platform's ability to swap barrels, bolt heads, and firing pins with just a single tool. At 62 inches long and 23 pounds naked, the ELR is a true behemoth, yet push-button controls in the buttstock allow the rifle's length of pull and comb height dimensions to be tailored to fit shooters of many different sizes and body types. The rifle ships with two five-round magazines, a bag rider, one accessory rail, and a hard carrying case. After experiencing significant success with its modern precision rifle, Christensen Arms is now offering the MPR in a rimfire version. This is intended to be a rifle just as suited for small game as it is for competition. It employs an adjustable chassis with folding stock similar to Christensen Arms Centerfire MPRs and a similar-looking carbon fiber float tube and comb piece. The latter are made using Christensen Arms FFT process that results in an oriented strand board pattern of carbon fiber pieces. It has a Remington 700 pattern trigger, integrated Picatinny rail atop the action, and a threaded muzzle. This new MPR uses Ruger magazines and comes in 22 LR, 22 WMR, and 17 HMR. When Colt reintroduced its legendary snake gun in 2020, Revolver fans immediately started clamoring for the return of the company's classic blued models. Colt evidently took note and has given the people what they want. For this year, Colt's Python is back in blue with a 4.25-inch barrel. Dark wooden stock with the Colt logo medallion blend beautifully with the deep blue finish the original revolvers were so well known for. Of course, the firearm keeps six rounds of 357 Magnum or 38 Special on tap, depending on whether the shooter is plinking steel at the range or fending off bears in the backcountry. For sighting, the revolver sports a red ramp front and an adjustable target rear to keep shots precisely on target. The revolver has also been strengthened thanks to a beefier top strap, but most of the gun adheres to the classic lines and profile of the original model, down to the traditional stocks and even compatibility with first-generation holsters. If you're looking for a starter long-range rifle that's high quality, Bergara B14 Wilderness Sierra must be part of the conversation. Designed for those who seek the traditional sporter style of the Ridge but crave more adjustability, the Sierra stands out as the ideal choice for hunters who value versatility in the field. The highlight of this rifle is its adjustable comb, offering shooters the freedom to personalize their comb height for an optimized and comfortable shooting experience. The grip features a slightly more vertical grip to allow for a more comfortable feel when shouldering. The action footprint on the B14 is very similar to that of a Remington 700. The two-lug push-feed action is tubular, thus making it easy to machine precisely and simple to bed. A loaded chamber indicator at the rear of the cocking piece is a nice touch, and the knurled oversized bolt handles hard to miss on fast reloads. The rifle feeds from a detachable five-round magazine compatible with AICS. The 24-inch fluted barrel is nice in every possible way. The sniper gray finish is great. It's free-floated in the stock. It comes threaded and even features an Omni muzzle brake. The Wilderness Sierra packs a lot of performance into a rifle that retails for under $1,000, if you're looking for both, a surgically accurate rifle that also provides you the features you might desire as a hunter, this is it. You like the dagger, but you were yearning for something more custom? PSA has answered your call with a lineup of saber daggers packed with custom features like threaded barrels, aluminum flat face triggers, custom stippling, flared magwell, and PMAG plus 5 mag extensions. The first variant that we're going to see is the M81 Desert. It features a 10 barrel, a 10 back plate, flared magwell, two P mags with five round mag extensions, as well as an aluminum flat face trigger. The next variant's an all black version with a black barrel, black back plate, flared magwell, two P mags with five round plus mag extensions, and an aluminum flat face trigger. Following that is the M81 Woodland variant. It comes standard with a black barrel, a black back plate, a flared magwell, two P mags with five plus round mag extensions, and an aluminum flat face trigger. And the last configuration is this all-black frame with a 10-barrel 10 backplate, flared magwell, two PMAG 17s with 5-plus mag extensions, and an aluminum flat face trigger. Each variant comes RMR cut, features a threaded barrel, and arrives in a Sabre range bag, adding an extra layer of value. This is the first PCC from Smith & Wesson to be based on the popular AR-15 chassis, which makes it compatible with many existing parts and accessories for other PCCs. 
The response is chambered in 9mm Luger and uses a blowback operated action with a spring and buffer housed in a receiver extension and an AR compatible fire control group that uses a flat face trigger. The action is contained within a polymer receiver that's comprised of upper and lower halves. The muzzle threaded 16 and a half inch barrel is surrounded within a 15 inch polymer handguard with a Picatinny rail extending across the top and a generous number of M lock slots on the sides and bottom. The rifle's controls are in standard AR format with a left side safety lever and bolt release, a right side magazine release, and a rear mounted charging handle. The Magpul MOE SL buttstock telescopes to six positions, and the rifle's overall length is 32.13 inches fully collapsed or 35.38 inches fully extended. Where the response differs from other AR type PCCs is in what Smith & Wesson calls its Flex Mag system. The magazine well area of the lower receiver is detachable. This allows for the rifle to utilize multiple formats of magazines. The rifle ships with an installed magazine well adapter that accepts Smith & Wesson's own M&P series and two 23-round extended magazines are included. An accessory adapter for Glock pattern magazines is also supplied.